Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot OpenSUSE and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for OpenSUSE. Click on the first link which is the official website. Here you will be presented with two versions of OpenSUSE. First is Tumbleweed which is the bleeding edge version and it is a little bit unstable and the next one is the leap which is the stable version so for this video I'm going to download the leap version and once you have downloaded the ISO go to another tab and search for Rufus click on the first link and download the latest version of Rufus so once you have downloaded the both files close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive data before proceeding because it will wipe your pen drive data and after that open your downloads directory and open Rufus and once the op Rufus is opened select the ISO file which we just downloaded earlier for the partition scheme select GPT and click on start this is process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part So finally this process is completed and we have a ready bootable USB of OpenSUSE. Now close everything and right click on your start menu and select disk management. Now once disk management is open, right click on any local disk with enough space and select shrink volume. Now give at least 40 GB of space for OpenSUSE. Now close disk management and it's time to restart our computer. Now while your computer is restarting press either F12 key or escape key to boot into the boot selection menu and select the USB option to boot into OpenSUSE USB. So we have started to boot into the OpenSUSE USB. Now we need to wait a little while for the installer to show up. So finally we have the installer. Now first of all we need to select the installation and the system language. So I'm going to select English and for the network I'm going to choose Wi-Fi. Now for the desktop environment I'm going to choose GNOME for this video. Now this is the most important step of installation. As you can see it is already suggesting me the partitions from the free space that we have created from the windows. Now for this you need to click on the drop down menu at the bottom center and you need to select the option which says start with existing partition. and. Now it will open a partitioner. Now make sure that the correct drive is selected where we created free space. Now select the drive and click on add partition. Now it will automatically detect the free space we created. Just click on next and give the role as operating system. Mount point as forward slash which is the root partition. Now find your Windows EFI system partition, click on the Windows EFI system partition, go to edit and make sure that the mount point is slash boot slash EFI and select do not format. Now if you are happy with your changes now click on accept and after that click on next. Now select your time zone. Now enter your user details and your password and if you have a short password it will warn you about the password.
and after that it will give a brief summary of your installation now click on install button to begin the installation and this process is going to take some while so I'm just going to fast forward this part so finally the installation is complete now click on OK and remove the USB pen drive now your system should automatically boot into the grub menu of OpenSUSE to choose between the operating system and if you don't see the grub menu then you can change the boot order in your BIOS menu for now I'm going to boot into OpenSUSE to check if it is installed properly so as you can see OpenSUSE is installed properly without any issues now let's try to boot into windows to check if our windows is working or not So as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.